Hello guys, welcome to another video. This time we wanted to demo you a team meeting um, that is super efficient and we just wanted to basically show you how we can do this using FigJam, which is particularly uh, something that is quite helpful during this um, remote working scenarios that we have all the time now. Um, so in here, today I've got a couple of my team members who's kindly volunteered. We've got Matt over here. Hi Matt. And we've got Tara. Hello Tara. So these guys have, these guys are very, very busy by the way, and they've, <laughs> they've um, taken time out of their work day just to help me out with the YouTube video just for you guys. So it's, it's very special. Um, without having to get into client projects, we wanted to talk about our own projects here at uh, the internal stuff that we do. And we have this thing called Relab Goods. And as a matter of fact, if you see my hoodie, it says, patience and this is one of the products that you could get uh, out of relab goods it's just a small initiative that we we did as a team inspired by the events that has happened recently in 2020 and COVID and all of that stuff um, and uh, i won't talk too much about it but if you're interested and you wanted to have a look go to relabgoods.com and there's more information for you over there in the meantime what we wanted to talk about is uh, a particular challenge about the Relab Goods website itself, which we started uh, not long ago. And I'll just show you a screen, uh, a screenshot of it over here. Um, essentially, it's a Shopify e-commerce site, something that we did very, very quickly. So uh, the only custom thing that we did was just the design itself uh, or the design components and elements. Uh, but the website itself is a Shopify template. It allows us to move forward very quickly and um, just allows us to go to uh, the public and, and have it available for everyone who's interested in it. So it's been running for probably a good uh, three months now. We just wanted to review our uh, product detail page uh, and maybe the product listing page as well. But you know, for the purposes of this exercise, I might just focus on um, the product listing page so we don't uh, spend too much time here uh, but the challenge that we wanted to solve here as a team is can we improve Relab Goods websites product listing pages and so we wanted to show you how we would do this as a team at Relab and so please enjoy this all right guys um, so I guess what we wanted to do is just a quick uh, review session between ourselves you guys have been involved in the Relab Goods stuff uh, Matt, you've been designing it. Tara, you've been helping me coordinate stuff in there. Uh, so I guess it's just a review on um, how do we make this better. All right, so now we're in Fig Jam. Uh, I guess the first thing that I wanted to do is just set up a time for this. I'll just set uh, 15 minutes as a max for us. Uh, I'll just start that right now. So we've got the timer going. We'll probably spend a minute just to talk about the things that we think are already good um, or good enough. So let's talk about the positives here. So I just did a quick screenshot um, over here, as you can see. Um, so you can just follow me if you're wondering where I am. Um, but that's just a screenshot of our product listing page. So thinking about it, let's just spend a minute quickly um, noting some post-its on what are the positives so far that we that we um, that we have in this product listing page. All right. So maybe we'll spend about a minute. Uh, it's 14 seconds left now, so we'll go until 13, 13 seconds. All right. Let's go start now. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'll stop there. Um, okay, so what we'll do is maybe just run through it real quick. Maybe we'll start from yours, perhaps, Matt. So I'll just follow you. Do you want to run through? I've put down um, that I like to customize me in new tags that we have on uh, to the latest products. Yeah. Uh, I think those are really helpful as a user, um, especially with this one where we've got a customizable product. Um, I think you might not know that otherwise. 
Mm. Um, and then I also quite like the brand messaging uh, that we have at the top of the page. Um, it's just a nice way uh, for us to, you know, reiterate that, you know, we're donating some of our profits um, and that sort of thing as well. Awesome. Uh, Tara, do you want to run past yeah. your... Yep. For me, I like the overall look of the page itself. It's very clean. It's very tidy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that was your one point, yeah? Yep. Okay. I'll run through mine. Uh, some of these are similar to what you've mentioned, Matt, but um, I quite like the order of the products. They're quite nice. I mean, like we do it manually, so I guess we get the flexibility of being able to order stuff like that. Um, so I quite like that. And also the product images, I think, are pretty good considering that we don't hold stock. Like we don't have stock in our side here, so we're just being resourceful with what we have from AS Color and stuff like that. Uh, so I quite like how we presented that, given our limitations. And the labels are nice. I guess labels is referring to what you were referring earlier, Matt, which was the new and the customized me and stuff like that. Okay, so now that we've got some of the positives out of the way, let's just group them over here. Okay, I think my computer is struggling. <laughs> Um, we'll get there. Okay, so I'll just group them here. Given that we don't have a lot of time, I'll just leave them here for now. But let's get into the things that we could improve. So, you know, we'll spend another one to two minutes perhaps this time just to come up with some of the things that we think are the negatives or could be improved. All right, time starts now. Right, time's up. Um, now, maybe move the cards slightly to the right, Matt, so they're separated from the negatives. Sure. Yeah, just move yours as well, Tara. All right, so we'll start from you again, Matt. Uh, do you want to read your cards out loud? Sure. All right. Um, so my first one, uh, I have alternate imagery on hover. Mm. Um, so I, that might be nice, uh, like a nice easy way to see uh, without having to like dive into the actual um, product display page. Yeah. Uh, so that's one. Um, lifestyle hero banner at the top. It might be nice to showcase some lifestyle imagery um, on the listing page. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we keep additional messaging in there as well. Um, so those ones kind of go together. Mm -hmm. um, also, lazy load, so uh, rather than having the numbered pagination, um, if you can just keep scrolling uh, to continue browsing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and then the final thing is product filtering and product sorting. Um, so I think as like our collections uh, grow, um, it might be nice to be able to filter the product by you know size, fit, color, um, and then sorting as well. So sorting by price low to high or high to low, um, that sort of thing. Awesome. Tara, do you want to go with yours? Yep. So mine would be more product range because if we see on the first page, we can only see like two type of products, which is a long sleeve and the hoodie. Um, and then the next one is a compare feature. So if I wanted to compare like two products at once, I have to open two tabs mm -hmm. instead of click one and then click the uh, second one. Mm -hmm. And then I would want to see like a size options on the listing page. So I wanted to see what sizes are available without actually having to click yeah. on the page. And then there is also no quick view feature. Mm -hmm. So we, again, we have to click on the product itself to see um, the details of the product. Yeah. And then if if one product has uh, more than one colors, if we can't actually do it in one page, yeah. it, it prompts us to open another page. Yeah, okay. For me. Yep, awesome. Those are valid points. Uh, I'll go through mine. So my one, my one starts with, uh, perhaps we can add the collection name. So whether it's Virtues or made it through 2020 or whatever it is, we could add the collection name as part of the product tile or the product card. Uh, have product labels or badges as a web element 
or a custom field instead of uh, it being part of the image because it's a very, it's one of our very rudimentary ways of doing things mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, color variants can uh, be housed in one product card instead of, you know, because we don't have that ability right now. Uh, can we also maybe add filters is another thing um, in the product listing page itself. All right, and so now that we've got that, perhaps we can group our negatives. Are there any things that fall into the same theme? We can probably group them together, guys. Let's spend a bit, about a minute to do that real quick. So I think a couple of these are um, more technical. Um, would yeah. it make sense to group them like that, do you think? Uh, so where we've got like lazy load and... Yeah. You can group that that way. Product sorting. What was product sorting again? Uh, so sorting by like. Um, mm. okay. uh, my MacBook's about to blow up. Just in, just in case. <laughs> Taking off. <laughs> size options, size options. Collection, product range, compare, quick view, lifestyle hero. Is promotional messaging part of lifestyle hero banner, do you reckon? Like marketing. Okay. Button Compare. Yeah, we could do that. All right. I'll just move that. Let's. Uh, I'm just gonna group them horizontally. Okay. Just leave a gap between the different themes. Okay, so if you guys are watching this and you're wondering what are these things these guys are talking about, don't worry too much about it, but what you need to focus on is that we've grouped certain elements that we feel are in the same theme or in the same category based on our understanding internally here at Relab Goods. Um, and then what we're going to do now here that we've got this groups is we're going to vote real quick, guys. So we'll spend about maybe a minute. Use your uh, stamp. So. Maybe go, let's go with different stamps. I'm, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the star, actually. Maybe you guys pick a different one and we'll use this right. as our voting stickers. So what oh, we're gonna we'll do here, heart. you'll use the heart. Okay. Um, I'll use the thumbs up. Thumbs up, okay. So let's spend about a minute, which is what we have left, to just vote on uh, the most important ones that we wanna deal with. So this is based on our understanding of the priority, which will bring uh, greater impact to goods. All right, let's start now. If you really love the idea, just go full on like three stickers. So let's, let's go three stickers as a maximum. guys so here what we've got uh, so we've spent about 16 minutes um, and we've got cards that are voted or problems that we think are important to solve and what I want to do now is probably just make a quick decision tree like this by grouping the ones with the top votes at the top uh, so this one's got four of them this one has five so that goes above like that. Oh. There you go. And what's the next one? Two? Think quickly. Yeah. Two. And we've got one each here. Just help me out and um, drop them in here, please. 
I'll bring that over, man. Okay. All right, so let's just leave the ones without the bolts down at the bottom like that. Okay. All right, so let's quickly have a read at um, you know the top bolt. So this was about product filtering or sorting, uh, allowing users to be able to sort their you know their preferred color or size or fit or perhaps prices and stuff like that. The next one is color variance, uh, which is like at the moment if we look at our page, um, the different colors are being laid out as. Um, individual cards or individual tiles instead of being in the one and sometimes we have products with four different colors but they are, they end up being four different cards on the product listing page and we feel like it can be simplified uh, and the next one here with two votes is a compare feature and maybe a quick view feature so what we what I like to do usually is just to focus on the top three when we have the situation like this and leave everything else because chances are, well, with these ones with the one vote, uh, we can have it as our backlog, but we could focus on working on the first three up here, uh, which means the next step from our point of view internally here, typically what we would do is we would list this down in our project management system, which we, we are using Jira and Relab. And so we would just log them as different tasks. And for each of the tasks, we'll start talking to the different team members or stakeholders that might be involved, whether it's our development lead or whoever, and then just figure out what the effort is in terms of executing this product filtering thing. And then if this product filtering and product sorting feature ends up being more difficult to do or will, or will take up more effort to do, as opposed to making this, uh, let's just say, you know, a quick view feature, we might end up working on the quick view feature first. But it's basically trying to understand what's the most valuable thing that we could work on in the shortest period of time. Um, so out of this meeting, basically what we got is uh, some improvement points that we could work on. And it's, it's great to talk about stuff like this because otherwise you just leave things hanging here and there and everyone will have their own idea. But when we group like this as a team together, then everyone has the room to say something and has the time to say something. And just mind you, in this video, we're doing this in a very rapid way. Uh, but in, in real life, we might spend a little bit more minutes in each of the activity. But hopefully this gives you an idea on how we would be able to do a review or a retrospective on, our, on something that is already existing or ask ourselves how can we improve certain things in this case was the product listing page of Relab Goods website and then out of this we got we get you know quite a few ideas out of the 15 minutes but in reality we'd probably spend a bit more time maybe half an hour or an hour so imagine when you go into meetings oftentimes people would like automatically schedule meetings for an hour and the question is what is the outcome out of that meeting and if you do something like this in a very structured and systematic way, uh, hopefully you'll get the most out of it. Um, and let's leave it there. Well, by the way, thanks for joining here, Matt and Tara. I really appreciate it. Now, um, no I guess we got to get back to it, hey? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All right, folks. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.